Hello Libra, welcome to another Butterfly Message. I'm Aji and this is Sacred Libra, where we talk all things Libra. Let's get right into this message for you guys. First, I do want to light a little Palo Santos. Look at that flame. Y'all remember y'all remember when I used to be pressed over the flame? Over the fire. <laughs> Alright, let's get into it. Okay. Let's first get the affirmation of the day. Today we're going to try to be on time, y'all, with the morning info. I don't know why YouTube takes, now it's taking forever. <clears throat> it's taking forever to upload, but I'm going to be on time today. I can feel it. I can feel it. Um, Downloads before I go in. I have been a real, real long-winded on the morning infos lately to get this one out quick um but we've been talking about a lot of major shifts the first one was the shift of um getting into the pos the position of receiving okay the second one the second big shift was saying no to a certain type of paradigm of believing that you only can receive a certain type of love or a certain type of connection or a certain type of support. Um, I guess in better words, it would say it would be saying no to one-sided relationships. And in that, you crack a whole nother paradigm. Because <clears throat> it's not just saying no to a certain type of relationship actually saying yes to yourself it's saying yes to what it is that you deserve it's finally looking at what it is that you deserve and what's rightfully yours what is the the uh, affirmation of the day i was about to say the morning inspo what is the affirmation okay <clears throat> you got i am perfect just the way i am I am empowered to take on any challenge, okay? I am perfect just the way I am. What do I love most about myself? How do I show gratitude for the person I am? And I'm empowered to take on any challenge. It says, how can I tap into my inner power? How would this power help me to overcome challenges? Okay. It's, I'm feeling like right now, some of you guys are going to get into the the energy of right now. Not when you get this or when you do this or when you have that or when you... You're going to get into the energy of right now using the strength and the tools and everything that you've learned and gained in the present moment. And take that and do something beautiful. But it's, it's a part of like a, men a mental click. It's a click of not needing anything outside of yourself. It's, it's that mental click, turning it on, realizing that you have everything that you need now. It's a mental click from lack to abundance. And you're taking the abundance that you have now and you're using that for your challenges instead of thinking that you're not enough or instead of thinking that you're not equipped um, or you don't have enough. Let's get into the tarot and the tarot energy for today. What's going on with my third chakra? <clears throat> but y'all see my new smudge bow? I hope I don't tilt it over, but yeah, it's so cute. I see. I know it's gonna tilt it over. It's, it's fragile, but. It's so cute. I, I like the little legs on it. What's 
the tarot energy for today? Okay, it's the eight of wow. It's the eight of cups. It's the eight of cups. It's you believing in yourself. You believing you can have you believe in you can have your deepest desires right now and you're going after those leaving anything behind anything that's not aligned with you leaving anything that does not propel you forward behind you Why do I feel like someone is saying, like, leave me alone? Leave me be. Got the two of cups here. Then the four of cups. A lot of emotions. Um, a lot of emo emotion. Water signs that you can have a lot of water in your chart. Um, you might want to look where you have water in your chart. Um, that may be helpful for you. But I do feel like somebody is letting go of a burden. You could definitely be walking away from a relationship. Definitely be leaving a relationship. Definitely could be walking away from societal norms, certain standards, could be beauty standards, could be tradition. But you're, you're also walking away from the, the self the, the um, self-inflicted idea that you can't have what you want now, that your dreams and your desires are far away from yourself, far away from you. You're walking away from that. This is the realization that you can have what you can have it now. Um, one of the big things for me is when I realized when I really started being disciplined and really start showing up and doing this tarot and everything is when I actually believe that I can have the life that I desire. And that is what creates part of the action. A big part of it is believing that you can have it now because always believing that it's outside of yourself, you're going to always believe that it's outside, that it's far away. But there's, there's a mental clip. I'm going into the Priestess of Light oracle for this morning and spell trying not to be long-winded today i know y'all like it but <laughs> trying to respect the energy messages do we have for Libra this morning and spell what messages do we have for Libra Innovation, new creation. Like, like I said, <laughs> the new creation is within the palms, the palm chakras. Um, want to make sure you are massaging those and charging these up. Okay. Also, your hands, the things that you create with your hands. Some of you guys are making some type of new creation. Something told you that you couldn't create something because you needed some type of crazy material or you needed something, but you're realizing that you can create something right now with the tools that you have. A lot of this is inward tools. A lot of this could be you're realizing that you have the stuff at home um, to create something big, brilliant, okay? Also, I do feel like there's a firm stance, there's a firm standing of stability. And there's a there's a bright outlook for the future. 
okay? There is, it's, why, and you know what? Why are we always in adjusting mode? That's what I just feel like Libra is always in, constantly looking. Const, head is constantly on a swivel, constantly turning, scoping, looking forward, back, around, whatever. It's always like scoping out your environment. Scoping out what's around you. Scoping out your surroundings. Um, but then this is an action of moving forward. Um, I do feel like that this could be a huge block of you realizing that you have it at home, whether it's within or whether it's actually at home. That's a huge block because some of you guys felt like you didn't have the tools at all. So with this newfound piece of clarity... It brings in a whole new wave of energy and possibly confidence. It also knocks down an obstacle that you could have been standing in front of for a long time. What did I say? Why is Libra always looking back, moving forward? Um, right now, you're going through an adjusting period. Um, I do feel like the heart chakra um, could definitely, your heart chakra being open or you working on your heart chakra could definitely be bringing in new relationships to your life um yeah divine mother nurturing compassion grace i feel like the biggest thing for you now is to see how in the past how you nurtured yourself see what you went through in the present and all the healing that you've been through and then now, how you can nurture yourself in the future. A big part of that is already being done because you're already realizing that you have something. You already have the tools. You're already realizing that you are abundant now. Um, I feel like spirit could remind you it's important that how you take care of yourself in these next steps. It's going to be important with how you nurture yourself and how you allow yourself to be nurtured. Also, there could be in a relationship that needs you to be open and vulnerable. It's going to be important for you to nurture your relationships. I feel like nurturing is definitely going to be important. Self at the top of the list, and then the things that you care about that you want to grow. Okay, there could be some communication from a family member. Um, I feel like there could be somebody, yeah, there's someone who is communicating with you. Yeah, there's some type of abundance coming in at home. Um, there may be a lot of communication in a space where there were where it was none. There could also be <clears throat> a lot of wealth and plenty like this i feel like this mindset really changes yeah and it has everything to do with your sacred focus and that's your focusing on the lack that you do have i keep going back to um i mean focusing on the abundant the abundance that you do have i keep going back to the affirmations which is i am perfect the way i am and i am empowered to take on any challenge i keep going back to these affirmations because i just feel like that Realizing that you don't have to change anything or don't have to fix anything within. For some of you guys, that applies to your shadow. Of feeling like there's a dark side of you that needs to be cleaned or needs to be pure. And realizing that it doesn't. I feel like a lot of this reading has to do with self-realization and your energy alone boosts the energy around you. Okay, you got Cupid working <laughs> in your social life. Oh, I mean, not in your social, your social and your love life. I feel like right now you can definitely be connected with different people or um, there is a relationship that's deepening. You feel, you feel loving support from the people that you're around. Um, but definitely on the love, on the 
on love if you're having thoughts about something or you're trying you're, you're figuring you're trying to figure something out you're you, you're looking for guidance your angels are guiding you in the right direction also i can feel like the angels could be playing cupid you could be meeting somebody new um something is definitely awakening awakening right now um yeah there's a connection that's coming to you heart chakra could definitely be um activated okay there is a connection that is coming to you a deep connection that's going to cause for you to be vulnerable it looks like almost like the angels are bringing two people together um and if this already happens that the relationship just get deeper the support gets bigger okay the love expands But you do have angelic assistance in your love and social life. So be mindful of the people that you're being guided to, the people that you're connecting with. When it comes to money, like your eye is on the prize right here. You got shamanic journey. Some of you guys could be going on a journey to make some money. You can you can have to travel to make some type of money. Um, but I do feel like Right now, you're making action. I feel like money is flowing, whether you're going to go get it or it's coming to you. Here you got stability and standing firm. With sacred gratitude, be thankful. Make sure you practice gratitude for the money that's coming into your life. I also see um, things can be happening one after the at uh, one after the other in order like there's a going to be a chain of events yeah money's coming to you divine masculine comes to divine feminine i gotta read from my perspective from the divine feminine even if you're a divine masculine i do feel like this is at the time where you are allowing the money to come to you and this is a Divine Feminine on this card. Oh, let me get, I thought I put my charger in. One second. Okay. Yeah, money's coming to you. Relax. Some of you guys, <laughs> relax. I feel like all you needed was that click. All you needed was that click. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Did I just say all you needed was that click? And then and then your career, life purpose, um, job, you know, position comes up. Healing the hot heart. What does that say? The power of, of self-love. All you needed was that click. For some of you guys, don't underestimate the power of self-love. That's what I'm naming this video. Don't underestimate that. Don't underestimate the power of self love. Why can't I talk today? I'm too excited. What's the extended message? Hidden knowledge, akashic records, silent understanding. What's understood does not need to be explained. For some of you guys, there could be conflicts or there could be hostilities around you. Be mindful of what you sit and ponder and talk about all the time. Um, but these beliefs, like what did I say? Brilliant, brilliant beliefs, personal power. You believing in yourself, you believing that there's nothing that you have to get, you believing that you are whole already is very, very powerful because a lot of people don't believe that. And then you tap into another, you tap into something else, but I do want to read Hidden Knowledge. Uh, for you guys, so. And this, I think it's the last card, too. No, it's not. Okay, it says, The priestess of the lynx gazes at the world with silent understanding. Supernatural eyesight is attributed to the lynx, giving it the ability to see what is secret or hidden. Its tufted ears symbolize clear audience the ability to hear what isn't being said. This represents your power at this time. If you sit in silence, a deeper understanding will reveal itself. 
You will see what people are hiding from you, from others, and even from themselves. You will also be able to hear and comprehend their secrets. In fact, you might find that people share with you their hidden truths and troubles. For this reason, this card could also indicate a new career direction. Due to your deeper understanding and the willingness of others to open up to you, a profession like psychology, social work, or life coaching may be ideal. The links is also associated with revelation, mysticism, and wisdom from the unseen world. This means that you have unlimited access to the Akashic Records, the universal source of all information, including every detail of every life that each soul entity has ever lived. In addition to seeing your past lives and future potentials, you have the ability to understand the influence of your present where all your thoughts, words, and actions become the causes of future effects. You are now able to bring a higher consciousness to your daily life and to receive all the diverse wisdom and inspiration that the Akashic Records have to offer. So spend a lot of time in silent ref reflection. This is going to be a good time for you to spend a lot of time in silence or if you like make some time to spend some time in silence today. Um, and this is just no meditation, no nothing. Just sit still and be silent and breathe and just try to focus on your breath. This which is very, very powerful. Um, I know the gurus, they recommend to do a little bit at a time where it can be a lot. Um, once you really quiet things and you really get to hear, you, you hear those things that you were missing. But definitely quiet reflection. There's hidden knowledge for you. Tell me more about, is this innovation? Yep. Yeah. Tell me more about innovation. Shield Maiden, this says make, make plans and focus. You're focused. Feeling like you have these this power, like it's nothing that you can't do. Once this click that you are whole already, so whatever self-love practices that you are doing, you're not alone. Your angels are guiding you, not only in your love life, but in your life as well. Um, and definitely on your... But what, what, once you click your mind to believing that you are whole right now, that there's nothing that you need to fix, there's nothing that you need to do to complete yourself, right now you're ready, right now you deserve, that's when your life changes. Okay? Hold the space here. And then you got medicine mother, honoring your inner knowing. The mother is very, very powerful here too. There's a, there's a need for you to take time to reflect. There's also a need to do some mirror work. So definitely tell yourself you love your, tell yourself you love you, okay? Um, tell yourself how, how proud you are of you. Um, tell yourself that you are perfect just the way you are, okay? And you are empowered to take on any challenge, like, remind yourself of the things that you've overcome. I really feel like, um, I really feel like mirror work is definitely going to be good. Your guardian angel wanted to come on up out, out here, okay? <laughs> Just to let you know you are not alone in this and you're, you're divinely guided. You're divinely guided to track down and hunt down all of your desires and fears like you if you feel like you can take on any challenge whether it's a fear or it's a desire that you want um tell me more about adjustment oh big blessings are coming towards you so when i first pulled this card the looking back and moving forward, the adjustment card was was a lot uh, about the divine mother, about how you nurture yourself and how you allow yourself to be nurtured. Um, and I feel like this is you, how you allow yourself to bask in the ambience, in the joy and light. 
for some of you guys, you're going to be looking back at a time where you where you didn't allow yourself to celebrate. You didn't allow yourself to bask in the joy and happiness and light that you have in your life. Now, moving forward, you're making the decision to bask in that same light and joy. Because for some of you guys, you're realizing that it's, it's here already. It's been here. And you could be thinking about there was a time when you missed it or there was a time when you thought that you needed to do this, that, and the third or be with this person or have this amount of money or be this size in order to get it or to be this standard of beauty in order to get it. But you're realizing that you have it now. So now, now, this is when you look back and you're like, okay, now I'm about to have it up, okay? That means you're about to... Enjoy yourself and have a blast, <laughs> okay? Because you didn't. You didn't before. There's also a need for you to connect with how you feel about these new situations coming in your life. The Bible B is a great symbolization of joy, happiness, um, prosperity. You know, the Bible bees are the worker bees. They keep, they make the life go around. They make life. Bees are very important. Let me just say that, okay? <laughs> They are sweet. They make honey, you know. They pollinate the earth. That's what I was trying to say. Was, they make the earth. They pollinate the earth. Bees are very, very, very important. Bees represent expansion, okay? Then you got this innovation, new creations. That's expanding. And a lot of you guys with this new expansion coming in your life, it's not going to tilt you off. For some of you guys, it's going to keep you focused. Some of you guys also maybe there may be a, some more try you may be traveling this summer, okay? Um, okay. So you got the warrior. Be fearless. There's some there's some communication that you need to have with the person, a family member or a person at home. We got be, be brave and be honest um, that you need to have, that you need to be fearless and have. Um, I feel like there's a need for you for you to, in a certain relationship to move in a different direction, but until you and that person or people have a have communication, you guys will just be still doing the same thing. Um, trust in the higher forces and just be fearless, stand your ground. Also, there are some messages coming towards you. Um, this could have something to do with hidden knowledge. Um, but definitely follow, something is telling me to follow your heart. It, it's also a lot of passion here. Also, I feel like somebody needs some type of answers. You got the heart guardian here. Love and let yourself be loved. This could be a place where you just, where there's a lot of passion, where there could be two people to come together. Family and home life. It's almost like have that communication. Tell me more about angelic assistance. Follow the voice of your soul. Also, your star ancestors. Okay, so it looks like the angels are up to something. They could be working in your love life, social life as well. I feel like there is a soul here that your angels could be wanting you to meet, experience, something like that. Um, you probably could run into a person... Yeah, you probably could run it. There's there's a person, there's a relationship that's key to your path. Whether that person is going to bring you in contact with someone else or whether that person is going to give you a major idea or just you and that person will be doing something. Um, it looks like the voice of your soul while, si while silent time is very, very important. And the voice of the angels are definitely going to connect. And it's going to be almost like you're listening to one voice. I 
feel like the angels want you to feel loved and comforted. They want you to have support. Um, they also want to match your light. Tell me more about the shamanic journey. You got shift your perception. Yes. Um, what did I say? The money is coming to you. For some of you guys, you feel like you have to go get it. Like I said, outside of yourself. Um, but it, I feel like that there's, a, that there's a need for you to stay put. Look, be the light. What attracts to the light? Everything attracts to the light. Like you, you are the attraction. There's a need for you to change your perception from um, so much action or trying to do something with just the works of you and let the works of the whole universe work for you. Um, there's also a need for somebody to rest. Like I said, somebody could be traveling for money, doing a lot of traveling or doing a lot of working for money. This time, Divine Masculine is coming right into you. Divine Feminine pulls in. Divine Masculine goes. It's action. The Divine Feminine stays put. And that energy just comes right to Divine Feminine. So I feel like that's a change of perception of um, staying put. Also, we talked about the big paradigm shifts. This is a big energy to get into the, the energy of sitting back and receiving. The giver needs to sit back and receive, okay? Um, that is a big energy to get into, to hone, as I should say. Tell me more about healing the heart. Surround yourself with protective energy. And this is you. This is you. This is how you're speaking to yourself. Um, this is your perception. This is your mindset. That's the protective energy. That's how That's how you're going to protect yourself at this time. And the power of self-love, you'll be surprised at what that brings, a new wave of success, value, wealth, and plenty into your life. Tell me more about hidden knowledge. See something from a higher perspective, okay? I do feel like you're going to be getting some type of answers. Also, these answers that you're getting from um, when you take that time in silence, when you start speaking to you, okay? When you start hearing these, these voices, these Akashic records, these silent understandings, secret knowledge, all that stuff. I feel like all of this is going to make you move in a new direction, a whole new direction. It's about you holding that energy, holding that space, staying in that frequency and that vibration. Okay. Um, trust in the higher forces because they are surrounding you. Your guardian angel wanted to pop out. Got angelic assistance. You got your star ancestors. Angels all over this reading. I did want to leave you with an angel message. Let's just stay with the theme. Okay. What is the angel message for Libra today? What is the angel message for Libra today? Okay. All right. <sighs> you got power animal. Your animal spirit guide is a guardian to you and is helping you with this situation. Didn't I say it all over? Listen to your intuitive feelings, okay? Your body is receiving accurate messages from the divine. Right now, you're getting full. Like, whatever you're getting, listen to it, okay? It's time for you to also cut your cords. Um, cut cords with the person or an old mindset. It says, I ask Archangel Michael to clear any old attachments to fear that stem from past relationships, freeing you from past destructive patterns. And then we have shield yourself. Protect yourself from harsh or fear-based energies by envisioning a cocoon of healing light surrounding you. Protect your light. Okay. Um, also parents. You got parents at the bottom of the deck. It says, the divine truth is that your parents eternally love you to the best of their ability. The angels are helping you heal from any pain associated with your mother 
or father. We had the, the, the divine mother out here. Then we have God box again. Some of you guys asked me, what is a God box? Okay, so my God box is, I do have to decorate it and make it all pretty. But it's just a box. And I have little, a bunch of little messages in here prayers and things I may need help with, I put them in there. But it says, write any worries, concerns, or desires on a piece of paper that you put into a special container called a God box as a way of letting go and allowing the divine to help you. So that's what it is, okay? So that's the message that I have for you guys today. I hope this reading resonated with you. If it did, make sure you give this reading a big thumbs up and make sure you guys are subscribed. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video.